Welcome to my channel. Jags Rocks Best way to sell an old coin or a coin collection? How to turn a coin or collection into spendable cash? Two main avenues to revenue. The two main ways to sell coins are number one. A direct sale to a coin dealer and number two. A sale via an auction house or an online service. Either way, it is important to have some idea of what you have and some general idea of what it might be worth. On the value question, you probably don't have hugely valuable, headline making rare coins, but some of them could be worth a few hundred dollars and that worth some effort. Unless you have very early US coins or some that are gold, the major auction houses are unlikely to express serious interest. Most of your coins also are in what collectors call circulated condition, which means they have been used to some degree for their intended purpose. Condition is a very important aspect of value, with coins that are in uncirculated condition never used and exhibiting nowhere worth a whole lot more. The Grading Industry Condition is so important to coin values that a small industry exists for judging them. Third-party grading companies such as Numismatic Guarantee Corporation Fun Facts, NGC is headquartered in Lakewood Ranch and Pegasus owner John Madden was a vice president and grading finalizer there for eight years in professional coin grading service hire experts to evaluate the condition of coins. The companies then sonically seal the coins and tamper evident, high-quality plastic holders with a unique certification number, and other security features. The condition of the coin expressed as a grade, is shown prominently on a label in the holder above the coin. Grades are stated on the 70-point Sheldon scale, with larger numbers indicating better conditions. But the cost of grading a coin generally starts at $25, plus shipping. Although professional grading gives buyers confidence, which usually translates into higher selling prices, how do you know if a coin is worth grading? You can research the approximate value of a coin with online resources, among them those provided by the publication known as the Gratia or the grading companies PCGS and NGC. Or you can establish a relationship with a local, established, reputable coin dealer, who can advise you on which if any coins could be submitted to one of the third-party grading companies. The Local Coin Dealer Option to money, working with a local coin dealer is the best choice and this is a Pegasus blog post we believe in what we do. Working with a local dealer, combined with online research on potential prices and reputations, is a great combination. The most important aspect of choosing who to sell to is trusting the knowledge and honesty of the person or business. Local dealers have sometimes been in the industry for years and know that one unhappy customer can hurt their reputations. The coin collecting hobby and ancillary businesses are a small community. Word of sharp dealing or big mistakes gets around fast, and online reviews are readily available. Like any business, you can check to see if they are members in good standing of trade groups, such as the American Numismatic Association and the Better Business Bureau. Working with a local dealer saves the cost and risk of shipping. A collection you inherited is pretty heavy and bulky, and you can ensure shipments but it's not going to replace your family collection or a replaceable coin. Direct sales can be made with eBay and Craigslist, but that takes more time and effort than selling to a local dealer. And fraudsters have been known to target sellers of such items. Still, many professional collectors commonly buy and sell on eBay. It is a viable choice for experts. Working with a local dealer in a direct sale usually is quick. The auction and online sales options. Auctions all of which are online only at the moment due to COVID-19 and online direct sales have the advantage of reaching more potential buyers. It only takes one bidder or shopper who is smitten with a particular coin or who needs it to complete their collection. These methods allow the market to determine the price, which can be good or bad for the seller although sellers can set a minimum acceptable bid and reject offers that are too low. These methods also involve fees to the online sales service or auction house, photographing the coins and submitting or uploading the images, and time waiting for a buyer to appear or an auction to be held. Typically, these sales routes involve waiting 45 to 60 days to receive the proceeds after the coin is actually sold. If you are selling online, 
you have to know what you are selling. You need to be able to describe it accurately. Do you know a small cent from a large one? Do you know that cents are an all made of copper and when the US Mint stopped striking coins of mostly silver? And you need to have some idea what a good price for the coin would be. Thanks for watching my video.